Howdy. Awesome Patty and little Miss Titi here. Yeah. Well, I was gone all day visiting with the sisters. And when I got back, I found a cat that missed me all day. Yes. And a package from Timu in the mailbox. So I've got to pet my cat and open up this package. Come on along. Okay, right now I have a cat in one hand. I'm going to try and do some of this with the other hand. I just want you to know this is the culprit right here. Yes, this bag of sponges right here. Mm, yes, I used to get these at the Dollar Tree. And all of a sudden they stopped carrying them. I looked high. I looked low. I looked in Dollar Trees all around, like a dozen of them at least, right? I couldn't find them anywhere. So finally, well, you know, I'm getting to the end of my bag here. I only had a couple left. And I was like, oh, I, I use these for all kinds of inky fun and distressing and playing. And I love these little sponges. And I only had a few left. And I was like, I bet you Timu has some. So I went on Timu and Yepers, they had them. So I ordered the bag. So of course, you know, you put in your order and then all these little goodies start popping up here and there like, oh, you might like this and you might like that and you might as well fill that package. We're going to send it to you, right? We can't just send you one little thing like that. So I'm looking at a few different things and I'm going to share those with you. So this is item number one. Okay, cat's got down. I got two hands now. So that is a crafty item. And the next two items are also for junk journaling. I've got two sets of paper. And this one, I believe I was telling you about this one in another video about these teacups and teapots that somebody made these little houses out of and how I just love these. Look at them. Now, very muted colors, yes. They're not vibrant. They're not bright. I'm wondering if that was the printing process to make these so cheap. Hmm. I wonder if I put some clear gloss on there, if that would make these shiny or just love it the way it is. I just love these images. I believe there's a dozen of them. Look at these houses. I have a thing with these houses and the windows and the doors and... Oh, it just, it's like a mixed media piece, right? Somebody made little flowers and trees. Look at this teacup with a little tree coming out the top, like a patchwork almost, a little window, little door, little garden. I love these so much. Oh, and this one's got like a village on top of it. Beautiful hearts. Oh, you could just doodle one of these, right? I did do that video, right? But I just want to show you. So uh, I'm like, ah, uh, I threw it in the cart. <laughs> I threw it in the cart. I figured, well, I can enjoy these. Very inexpensive. Great inspiration. I'm going to try and draw some of these. A little butterfly on the door. And I'll probably put it in my Tea Tuesday journal. Oh, so I was with the sisters, yes. And we're planning a special trip next month. It's going to be so much fun. So we had lunch today. I can journal about that on the back of one of these and just put it in my Tea Tuesday journal. I just think these flowers and teacups and houses and teapots are just so whimsical. You know me, fun, colorful, whimsical, yes. <laughs> None of these, they would even go really fun in the fairy journal too, right? Yes. A little house up there. That can even be like a little birdhouse, right? Butterflies and flowers and hearts. Oh, I'm loving this orange and this aqua color too. So there's a dozen of those. So I'm like, yeah, I just went ahead and put it in the cart. You know, you pick out one paper pack and put it in your cart and then suggestions like all these other paper packs start popping up. Oh, it must have been... Yeah, because I ordered whimsical tea cups and teapots. And this is the Dia de los Muertos paper. And I think I had some harvest paper. And that must be what they said they were out of stock. All right, so let's look at the Dia de los Muertos. Ooh, so I'm thinking of using this in my Frida Kahlo 
journal, which is not about Mexico. It's about Costa Rica. But, you know, the colors will go really well, I think. And it's just fun. Oh, I can cut this in strips and decorate a page. I just thought they were so fun and colorful and just would fit in with that journal. Have you seen that journal in a while? It's a little golden book and I'm gonna journal about my experience in Costa Rica. Yeah, look at this. See, look how perfect, look at this. Look how perfect these papers go with this journal. Oh my goodness, yes. Oh, I love it, I love it. I'm gonna have to do some journaling in here. I thought they would go with it, but now that I have it, it's like, <laughs> this is even better than I imagined, yes. <laughs> I am so happy with these, yes. Look at these. These are, so, oh, I love drawing these prickly pear cactus. Some food and drink and cacti. Oh, and this is so colorful. <gasps> yes, reminds me of the little hotel we stayed. Oh, and look at this. And a little village. We did go to the market while we were there. We spent a lot of time in the jungle, <laughs> but we did go to the town. We did go to the market. And, oh, I'm just loving this in here. <gasps> See, look at this. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I do have the story in the middle. The story is about Frida Kahlo. And I kept the story intact in the middle. And then I decorated all the pages with this uh, Dia. This is also Dia de los Muertos. Remember I was telling you about the marigolds? Yes, the giant marigolds are for Dia de los Muertos. And I saved the marigold petals to put in here. Then I just have some other, you know, fill-in kind of paper with flowers and stuff. Yes, so, oh, and I thought this material looked, oh, look how colorful, yes, that, that would go in there too. So now we've got all these papers. Oh, I'm loving, I'm loving it, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Oh, yes, just, just gorgeous musicians. What else we got here? Oh, look at the dancers. We saw that one, and then even these pages go really nice. I'm just a little disappointed with these stamps. I mean, they, they're gorgeous. I wish they were larger. The images on here are outstanding, but you can't see them that well because they're so tiny. But I do love them, like little tiny stamps. Oh, I'll decorate the page with them. Sugar skulls, I love the sugar skulls. And these are both the same. So get two pages of stamps. But yeah, oh, I got material. Here's some pictures that have to go in here. And what's this doing in here? I don't know what country it's from, but I think I put it in here because it was in Spanish. <laughs> oh, and this is in Spanish too. Oh, I got a lot of Spanish things. All right, so I've been collecting up stuff. Where's the pictures? All right, I gotta go find the pictures for this and maybe I'll get started on this pretty soon because now I'm really excited. I've, I got several things all saved up there. If you wanna see how I made this, I can link that below. Hope I remember my little golden book, Frida Kahlo. I'm so happy with those. I'm so happy with these, okay. <laughs> and sponges. All right, a couple of other things. Well, I did get this possum bag. Can I move this? <laughs> no, I did not clean off the table. Like I said, if I stay home for five minutes, I get things done, but I'm never home. It doesn't quite look like it did online. That happens a lot. I do like the little possum. It looks a little purple. <laughs> it looks a little purple here. It's a little larger than I thought, so I'm happy with that. It's got... Um, yeah, this strange material, zipper. Gotta be careful with the zipper. 
It's almost plasticky on the inside, which is probably a good thing. I can put pencils and pens and things like that in here. They had so many possum things. You would not believe how many possum things they had. But the bottom is strange because the possum looks like he's looking in the water. He sees a reflection of himself. <laughs> he's got two faces. Yeah, the bottom's a little strange. The material's a little strange, but it is a little bigger than I thought. So, yeah, I'll fill it up with pencils and things like that or pens. I got stuff all over the table <laughs> I could fill it up with. All right, so, you know, hit or miss here. The papers were a hit, and this is a near miss. Yes, a little disappointed in it, but... Not too much. Oh, when it comes to those papers, though, I'm not getting something I ordered. And I didn't go back and look and see what that was, but I believe I did the teacups and the Dia de los Muertos and like some fall scenes. And the fall scenes must be what they were out of. So I didn't get that, but they gave me a credit. So yeah, so paper I'm happy with. I'm not happy I didn't get my fall paper. This is a almost a miss. I gotta look at my order because I believe I ordered possum stickers or something like that. And these all say Happy Children's Day. And I know I did not pick out Happy Children's Day. <laughs> I mean, they're cute. They got little kids in them and balloons and smiling children. And I mean, they're cute. I like this one with the world. I'll probably pick out a few of these images that I like for when I you know, journal about maybe my grandnieces and nephew. This one's got like little artists on there. But I might just give these to them to play with. I like the crayons. Oh, and this one's cute. Little puppy. Yeah, definitely I did not order this. So again, I got to go back and look at my order. I'll let you know at the end what it was I really ordered. Because I, I didn't order these. No. I ordered possums. I think. Okay, so this is a total miss. <laughs> well, I was happy with the first two. Second two. Ah. All right, what else? Oh, possums, possum, possums. So I opened up the package. Ta-da! <laughs> this is my little possum perfect possum. The one that's going, ah! Check this out, socks. With Possum Perfect Possum on there. Yes. <laughs> Look at these retro colors. I love it. Look at this is Possum. I love this. But I think these are men's socks. They might be a little big. But that's okay because I have to wear compression socks anyway. So these will go over the compression socks. <laughs> I'll just wear them around for fun. Oh, I love them. I hope they fit well try it on let you know the band is nice and soft i just had to put my possum socks on aren't they the cutest i love them and they fit good they say men's but well i have them over my compression socks but i love them i love them <laughs> Ooh. oh and i did check my order and I was supposed to get possum stickers, not happy Children's Day stickers. So I'm going to have to notify them that the order is incorrect. Yes. Oh, I love that. Okay. So, and the last two are shirts. I got one shirt and I ordered it really large on purpose because I want to wear it like a smock here in the studio. I'll show you on the other camera in a few moments, but like for October, it's just got this really fun stack of pumpkins. And you know, this year I'm into my stack of pumpkins. I was making them actually just like this, wasn't I? Yes, I was going to a magazine and I was using my black pen, right? And making pumpkins and then stacking them up like ephemera. 
and that's what's on the shirt. And I got it really big. I think this is like a 2X. And look at the sleeves. How fun is this? I love it. Let's see how it fits. Here's my pumpkin shirt. I think this is going to be a great cover-up for October. You know, instead of wearing an apron or a smock. Oh, I can call this my smock, right? My October smock. So colorful. Super fun. I love it. I love it for fall. Not quite as big as I thought. I do have a shirt underneath, but I was thinking I could put something heavier underneath. Yeah. Oh, and the orange does match the orange and <laughs> on my possum socks, though. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's fun. I love fun, colorful. And the other one, you know, I got a little smaller, and this is just a fall shirt. It's a turtleneck, and I just love this green. It's got like a vintage pattern on it, and it's, I'll show you on the other camera in a second, and it's long sleeves. Got the pattern down the sleeve, that's nice. But if you look at the edge, it doesn't have a hem. It's got like, I don't know, what do you call this? Like a surging stitch around the edge. A little disappointed in that. I mean, the other one is hemmed. Look at that. The other one is hemmed just fine. This one doesn't have a real hem on it. But that's okay. We'll see how that holds up. Okay. They're very soft. Well, here's the green shirt with the turtleneck. The turtleneck is small. So if you don't like tight, you might not like that. The sleeves aren't too bad. I love the color, but a little disappointed in the hem. But I will wear it around. I do have a shirt underneath, and you don't need a shirt underneath this, no. It'll fit a little better without that other shirt on. But I think, look, it's roomy, it's comfy. Yeah, I'll wear it. <laughs> I'll wear it. Well, thanks for allowing me to share my Timu hits and misses with you on this hashtag Timu Tuesday. Yes, <laughs> this was fun to do after a long day out yet yeah, just to come home and play with this. I'm all excited now. I got the new papers. I can start working on my Frida Kahlo, which is not about Mexico, but <laughs> I'm going to use the colorful papers in it anyway. It's going to be about Costa Rica. I love the teacups, stickers, complete mist. These are not possums. No, they are children. The possum bag, meh. Yeah. Not totally thrilled with that, but I'll use it. I'll use that. I can't be disappointed with those. No, I needed those. And the shirts, well, yes, I love this shirt. A little strange, but I love it. It's supposed to be a little asymmetrical at the bottom. You might might have noticed that, but, you know, it's made that way. And the pumpkin one I love. Yes, the pumpkin one I love. Well, that's about it for today. <laughs> I've got to really clean off this table and do some journaling. So, yeah, <laughs> y'all come back now for that. You hear? <laughs> Happy junk journaling. Bye-bye. Mottos to live by. When the world gets you down, put things in perspective. Move ahead in a positive way. Don't allow yourself to become mired in a negative view. See things for what they really are. Don't let the little things get in the way. Do what you can, however you can, with the resources you have available to you. Don't sell yourself short. You have the power within you to change what needs changing. Face the situation with the resolve to remedy it. Do what you need to do to put it behind you. Move ahead in the direction of happiness. Go for your dreams and reach for your star. And remember, who's in the driver's seat? You are. Colin McCartney